Hi everyone. One thing you might not be aware of is that your Active Inspire software actually has two different interfaces that you can choose to use from. Across Australia and New Zealand, I would say our most common interface is the Active Studio interface. Um, probably because um, it, it's a little bit slicker, it looks a little bit more um, grown up or a little bit more like other software that the students would be using in the primary and secondary setting. Um, the active primary interface has more of a, a cartoony, colourful sort of look and feel about it and we'll have a look at that shortly. So there's no right or wrong, it's a purely personal choice. Um, let's have a look at how you would go about changing from one interface to the other. So I'm running the studio interface. It's a grey interface, so everything's silvery grey here, as you can see, all my browsers and, um, and the tab across it, my menu tabs and things like that are grey. That indicates that I'm in studio, and you can also see at the top here, it says Active Inspire Studio. So that's how I know I'm in the studio interface. To swap to the Active Primary interface, I need to bring up my dashboard. It's what opens when the software opens. Um, you can bring it back by clicking on View and Dashboard. Okay, F11 is the keyboard shortcut for Windows computers there. Hopefully this looks familiar to you. You might have seen this open uh, before. You can take this tick out and then it does not keep showing up each time you start the software. On the left hand side of your dashboard you need to click on configure. Once you've clicked on configure what you need to do is come down here and put a little tick in this box. This tiny little insignificant box down here that says launch next time using the primary look and feel. Then what I have to do is shut the whole software down. I'm not going to do that. I would push that X if I was. I'm not going to do that at the moment because I'm actually using Inspire to record this training tutorial and that will cut my video off. But if I shut this down and I reopen the software, then what I would see, I've taken a little screenshot here, what I would see is the active Inspire primary interface and here's the clue it would say primary at the top instead of studio and as you can see it's a lot more colorful it has a blue skin to it bright vibrant blue and bright vibrant yellow and it just looks a little different okay there are a few differences here I've still got my browser but there are a couple of icons missing they're now in the toolbar um, I've done a little tutorial video that goes over or all of the main differences between the two interfaces. What's important to realize though is that even though the software looks a bit different and it might act a little bit different, the tools, the resources and the functionality that you have is exactly the same. So you still have Active Inspire, it just looks different on the surface. Okay, you can see here um, the icons for the tools look very different, for instance. Yeah, so fundamentally, you're making a change to the software to change the look of it, not what capabilities it has.